We have till walking back to our weekly Facebook Live. So we go live every Friday at 3 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. So today we are going to be showing you how to make a DIY charcoal mask. Yep. All right. So what you'll need is um, clay, right? Bentonite clay. Bentonite clay. I'm sorry about the lighting. <laughs> Bentonite clay, um, apple cider vinegar, tea tree oil, and um, charcoal pills, so we have charcoal tablets, and then something to stir it with. So what you'll do is you'll take um, a table, two tablespoons of the bentonite clay. So I'm going to try to fix the lighting here. Yeah, there we, there we go. So you'll take two tablespoons of the bentonite clay and then two tablespoons of the apple cider vinegar, and go ahead and just pour that in like that. You can hear it kind of Ooh, yeah, foam, it's fizzling. Fizzle, yeah. I and did then, not expect that. <laughs> yeah, just stir it up. So you just want to make sure it's nice and smooth. Hi, Amy. It's kind of hard to tell because it's all foamy right now. I think we are nice and good. And then next, what you'll do is you'll take three drops of tea tree oil. And just go ahead and drop that in. It's, it's so good. good. It's like foamy. It's really foamy right like a now. foamy face mask. Okay, and then um, you'll go ahead and put in your charcoal. So you can buy charcoal pills. Um, they're like dietary supplements at your local grocery store. They should have them available. What are you making? So right now I make. we're making um, a charcoal mask. Do you want to try to sure. make it? My nails aren't as long as yours. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> so charcoal mask is actually very good for your skin. Yeah, um, this mask is great for people who suffer from like acne or problem skin. Um, you want to get the other yeah. one since we're struggling with these tablets here. Um, it's great for people who have oily skin as well because it's a super absorbent go. mask. It is very absorbent. And for the pills, we decided to try to pull them apart. But you can also, if you have scissors, <laughs> just that might be a little cut, easier. Just, cut just them. cutting it instead of struggling like we are. No <laughs> big deal. There we go. There you go. Okay. Cool. So then you just gonna mix that in as well. So it's going to obviously turn it um, darker. It's going to go probably black. I'm assuming. You just want to make sure you mix it well. You can see. And when you make your own mask, you save so much money. That's true. Um, because when you buy like a charcoal mask, I think they're about like twelve. They can be yeah, yeah they can be up there. Ten dollars to thirty dollars. Yeah. Um, this is definitely a lot cheaper. It's fun to make it at home too. Yeah. So. Okay, so that's done. So you're going to want to apply it onto your freshly washed skin so I and make sure you don't have makeup on. So I'm not wearing any makeup in case you think I look different different today. today. <laughs> so so um, what I have is a makeup brush. Um, I don't use it for foundation or anything. I just use it for when I want to use a mask. Um, you can use a spatula. You can use your hands. But I just prefer using brushes when I'm putting on a mask. And so, of course, you're going to want to avoid putting it over your eyelids. Yeah. Yeah. And your mouth. You don't and want to get mouth. it in your mouth either. You don't want to eat it. Like a football player. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so it's very smooth since you mixed it very well. It does go on very smooth onto your skin. Cool. So this charcoal mask, um, like we said earlier, is really absorbent and great for people with acne and oily skin types. Um, the clay in it as well is good for the um, acne as well. Um, apple cider vinegar, um, it's a really good natural astringent, and so what that does is it helps um, tighten your pores, um, helps tighten the skin. Um, the other good thing about apple cider vinegar is... Um, <laughs> it feels so funny. <laughs> <laughs> uh, um, so the other thing that it helps with is it helps balance your skin's pH, um, so your skin looks more even and health, 
be you have that nice glow, glow yeah <laughs> I love it <laughs> oh we're glad you love the videos every Friday oh, thanks hi, for tuning thanks. in yeah so you're gonna want to make sure you put a nice even layer um, it's kind of hard to tell because I'm staring into the camera, so I can't really tell if it's even or not, but I hope so. Um, and so for this mask, you want to leave it on for about 10 minutes. Um, you can, you can leave it on for a shorter amount of time, but 10 minutes is good if you, um, if you want to keep it on that long. And it's, you can feel it drying onto your skin. Do you... <clears throat> recommend trying it on, on your arm or other area because I do need to use that sensitive skin so just curious um you can always patch test if you do have sensitive skin I have sensitive skin as well um so the clay sometimes the clay might be yes very drying for you or it might irritate your skin for um for example the bentonite clay, bentonite clay um it can leave your skin a little bit red after you do your mask but that redness does go away it's only temporary yes. so don't think that it's an allergic reaction right away um just give it a few minutes maybe up to an hour i would say yeah to see if the redness goes away um if you do try it and you it, your skin does turn red yeah yeah because clay masks are um somewhat drying they do cause like red redness and but that's totally normal yeah, it's totally normal. So don't worry. Um, so you're going to want to let this mask at least dry. But for the sake of not having to sit here for 10 minutes and you're just staring at <laughs> stuff all over my face, I'm going to go ahead and um, rinse it off. So what you're going to do when you want to take it off your skin is you will obviously do this in front of a sink, which we don't have in front of us right now. So I'm going to use a bowl is just um, just wipe it off of your skin. So the other neat thing about apple cider vinegar too is um, if you don't want to use it on your face, you can also use it as like a hair rinse. Um, the natural acids in it help break down residue from like shampoos or other uh, hair products. So it helps kind of clarify and get rid of all that excess product in your hair. Oh, I love that. Yeah. So you can probably make a cool like DIY hair mask. Yeah, definitely. Using that. Yeah, or you can just rinse your hair straight out of the bottle in the shower. Oh, that's smart. Just do like a hair rinse. Yeah. Yeah. I've never tried a hair rinse before. So this mask did feel really good on my skin. I could feel it tightening. It started to actually tighten and dry right away. So that's really good to to know and to feel. Because I like when I, when I use a mask, I like to feel... You feel like it's working? Like you feel the you results? Feel, yeah, yeah, instead of like you just put something on your face and then now you wipe something off your face. Yeah. You can actually feel this mask working. And since it's all natural, um, when you make your own mask, it's always so much better than buying it at the store because you know the ingredients that are going into it. That's true. Like yeah. you control what's in it. Exactly. And you know exactly what you're putting on your yeah, face. Yeah, you're not adding chemicals onto your skin or anything like that. Hi, Karen. Oh, hi, Karen. Oh, we're glad you you love the videos. We love that you're watching. <laughs> okay, so I can't really tell if I got everything off. I think I did. Good. Looks good. Good. Okay, cool. So since this mask, it is drying because it's going to suck out all those impurities and toxins from your skin, you're going to want to make sure you use a very good moisturizer. And for me or for today, we're going to use actually our jojoba oil. So jojoba oil is so good for your skin. It actually mimics your skin's natural sebum. So um, it, it will leave you nice and moisturized. So what I'll do is, this is our two ounce bottle. It's one of our newer bottles that we came out with. Is what I love to do, because I use jojoba every day, is just take some in the bottle and I just squeeze it onto a cotton pad. And then just wipe it onto my skin. Like so. And jojoba absorbs fairly fast, doesn't it? It really does. Unless you put too much, then <laughs> then you'll be kind of oily. But um, And then on your neck as well. Also, when you're doing the mask, make sure you put it on your neck. I didn't put it on my neck to save time. But whatever you do to your face, you want to do it to your neck as well. Except for the fuzzies. <laughs> How often do you do, do you do? I would say once a week. Um, yeah. once a week, depending on the mask, there are some masks where you can do it multiple times a week, but with this mask, for example, I would say once a week because it is drying. If you feel like your skin is already dry, um, I wouldn't suggest doing it. 
can vi- people visit your um not right now <laughs> uh, we don't have people come to visit us in socal but hopefully we'll be able to you know eventually have people come visit us we love to meet our customers and talk Interact to you guys yeah them. definitely yeah Okay, so my skin feels nice and moisturized. Looks very hydrated. <laughs> I'm very shiny right now. Okay, so um, have oh oh, we're glad you love the chemical free soaps. Yeah, I love our soap. I do too. Yeah, I use our soap every day. Every day, um, vanilla orange is my favorite soap because I. I love coconut lime. Do you? It's so I, it smells so good. I love it. <laughs> Oh, you're welcome, Heather. Thanks for tuning in. Yeah. So, um, as always, we appreciate you guys for watching. Let us know if you try out um, this DIY mask or if you have any masks or suggestions for us that you want to see us try and give you a little bit more information about. So, as always, we appreciate you guys for watching, and we'll see you next Friday at 3 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Thanks, guys. See you next week. <laughs>